All right, everybody, so we're going to do these two equations. And I'm going to walk you through this one. And then I'll ask you all to press pause and do this one on your own. So on this one here on the left, we've got a negative 2 times 3y plus 5 in parentheses equals 14. And a quick reminder that, that it, it's good to use the distributive property here. Um, that might be a good idea because that will simplify things a little bit for us, simplify our life a little bit. And a quick reminder of the distributive property. If you had, say, something like, you know, a banana and like $5 in a bag, and let's say the number three was written outside here, that would mean three of these bags. So it would be like banana plus $5, another banana and $5, and another banana and $5. So that would be three bananas and $15. And that's what the distributive property means. And one way of calculating it is just take this number and multiply it by each term inside the bag or inside the parentheses. And you get three bananas plus three times five, fifteen dollars. Right? So that's just a reminder of the distributive property, and that's what we're going to do here. We're going to take the negative two and multiply it by each term inside the parentheses. And so be careful with your negatives, because it's negative two times three y negative six y, negative two times positive five negative 10, right? And now we um, solve for y. So y has been multiplied by negative 6, and then 10 is being subtracted. So usually undo the, the last operation first. So, so we, we get rid of the subtract 10. So, so think about how am I going to get rid of, of a negative 10? How am I going to... Yeah, exactly. Or undo subtracting 10. You would the opposite to that is adding 10. Because if I add 10, then this just becomes zero. Now if I add 10 to the left, I've got to add 10 to the right. And so I got negative 6y equals 14 plus 10, 24. And that's negative 6 times y. So get y on its own, divide by negative 6 on both sides. So negative over negative, positive. 6 over 6, 1. Positive 1, y, or just y, equals... Negative 4. Right. So it's positive over negative, negative 24 over 6, 4. So now everybody, I want you all to, to um, press pause and do this question all by yourself. It's negative 3 times 3a minus 6 equals 0. So do it all by yourself and then play the video and check your answer. <laughs> All right, so we're going to take the negative 3 and multiply it in to everything inside here. Negative 3 times 3a is negative 9a. Oh, by the way, everybody, I just want to make sure you press pause and try this before, because I'm just going to run through it. And then negative 3 times negative 6, watch out for that. There's a mistake coming up. Negative 3 times negative 6 is a positive 18 equals 0. Don't forget to write equals 0. Now we can solve for a. a has been multiplied by negative 9 and 18 has been added. So subtract 18, first of all, might be a nice thing to do. And then you have negative 9a equals negative 18. And then now divide both sides by negative 9. And we have a equals negative over negative positive. 18 over 9 is 2, or a equals 2. Now, there are other ways of solving this, and I don't mind how you guys do it as long as you get the right answer and pass my class and I don't see you back here next term. That'd be great. So, um, like, you could have added the 9 to both sides, 9a to both sides. There's different ways of doing it, but as long as you do the same thing to both sides, you should get a equals 2, and that's the correct answer.